I don't even feel like I'm in the UK at all. I'm stuck with crying emojis. I've put my family back home in panic because I've told them that I might be sent back to Nigeria. If I have to do a third attempt, temper your requests with mercy. Have mercy upon them. They are just trying to find their feet. But when I was going for the second attempt, my mind was like this. But thankfully, I passed it. Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of From My Inbox. Today's case study focuses on some of the struggles that international nurses face before finally settling down in the United Kingdom. This is a really long one. So if you're ready, grab your popcorn and some drink and let us dive into it. If you are new on this channel, you're welcome. My name is Victoria. And on this channel, I share experiences about myself and others on this platform to help immigrants coming into the UK, you know, to settle well. So if you like this content or any other content on my channel, don't forget to like this video, leave me comments below, share this video with your friends and subscribe. Please know that I'm going to be cutting out some confidential parts of this message. This is just in a bit to make sure that I am protecting the identity of the people who are sending in these emails and messages. So I'll just say the, you know, the important part and then we go on to what we can learn and how we as immigrants in the UK can actually do better. Okay, so it reads, Hello sis, please I'm sorry to bother you. I just saw your YouTube channel that you've been living in. Please, I need to talk to you as I'm losing it. I have been to Dash University in Dash for my OSCE twice now. I had receipt of MSU and urinalysis and I'm waiting for the result of my second attempt. I've been so scared. I've been looking for someone that's based in and has link to good tutorial centers there. My nursing home registered me for three days OSCE tutorial in the first place and I was even surprised when I passed nine stations because it was really very stressful for me. I'm really overwhelmed. I didn't see any need to do tutorial for the receipt as one of the staff nurses in the home took me. The fact is that first attempt was the first time I was seeing that type of urinalysis bottle and strip in my life. I never used it back in Nigeria. I don't even know what to say again. I tried my best in this second attempt, but I'm still very scared. I've been crying and praying, called off my duties at work, been indoors for about four days now, it's been a long way entering train from her place to this place where she's having her OSCE exam every time. I'm down psychologically. I don't even feel like I'm in the UK at all. I'm stuck with crying emojis. This OSCE is making me feel like a dollard, which I've never been all my life, both in nursing school and university. I'm devastated. I'm frustrated and I think it's better I cry out for help now. I don't even know what to say again. I'm stuck in a nursing home in a village where everyone seems more concerned about my results than my preparation for the exam. I've put my family back home in panic because I've told them that I might be sent back to Nigeria. If I have to do a third attempt and last attempt and fail, then I'm going to be sent back to Nigeria. I feel angry that my employer enrolled me for just three days tutorial in the first place, despite the fact that I raised my objection about it, but I thought I could support it with YouTube videos since they weren't ready to listen to me. Now, it's MSU that is tormenting me. I'm scared. I need support psychologically. I'm afraid of seeing this receipt result. I developed high blood pressure because of OSCE. I had to get a personal sphygmomanometer to be monitoring my blood pressure. Where she's living to where she wanted to do the exam by train is too long to be failing over and over. When I received this message from her, honestly, I was devastated on her behalf. Like, I know what it feels like to fail an OSCE exam in the UK, especially as an you know international nurse 
I failed my OSCE on my first attempt and you know when I was going for the second attempt my mind was like this but thankfully I passed it I can imagine what she was going through I can imagine what was happening with her at that time because I had to go through something similar myself and let me say that that's our second attempt result that she said she was waiting for it came out and you know what she failed and so we had to talk we got on a phone call and encouraging her and all that I gave her some advice which will be some of the things that I'm going to be talking about in today's video and she did it again on the third attempt she actually passed <laughs> it was as if i was one that passed on that day when she told me that she has gotten a result and she passed like oh my god i was over the moon for her so let's break this down i know that a lot of nurses a lot of international nurses go through this every day every day you are working especially for people who are not working with the nhs i am not sure if this happens in the nhs but i doubt it because i know that the nhs has um a solid educational um department that takes care of international nurses and make sure that they are well prepared for their oski these issues is often you know common with nursing homes care homes you know independent organizations who recruit nurses and all they want is just for them to pass their exam it's just some of them not all of them of course some of them are not truly invested or interested in the process in oh okay so how can we support you what are you going to do or what more can we do to help you to pass this test to pass this exam all they wanted to hear was that oh i went for my exam and i passed this is my pain that's what most of them are interested in however it is not that easy for international nurses it's not as simple as that you know somebody leaving their home country coming to a new country trying to adapt to the new environment the weather the culture the people a new working environment like something that is totally new to the person and on top of that there is this anxiety of oh i need to finalize this i need to get my nmc pin i need to get my oski done because if you don't get your oski done you don't get your nmc pin and without your nmc pin you are not regarded as a registered nurse in the uk you are always seen as a pre-registered nurse and the company that you are waiting for may not be as generous as you will want them to be in case you do not pass your exam again you know after the third attempt now for most nursing homes and um, private organizations that recruit international nurses into the uk to work as registered nurses they are happy to pay in full for your first attempt at oski but on your second attempt most of them it will have been detailed on your contract anyway but for most of them as it's applied to me then you have to pay half of it was it half that i paid all the whole thing safe <laughs> i think i paid the whole thing they were deducting it from my salary there and then for some by the time you are now going on to the third attempt they do not take responsibility at all for it you are on your own like you pay for it totally mind you you are being paid as a pre-registered nurse because you do not have your nmc pin yet so you are probably being paid the same amount as a senior carer maybe around 10 11 pounds per hour if your care home or nursing home is generous and then you get a lot of bills piling up for you to pay you know you've got your house bill you've got your rent you've got your phone bill probably you've got water bills electricity bills and you know various bills like that and on top of that you'll have to start thinking about how to pay to attempt this oski again because you have failed at the first attempt so all this brings a lot of anxiety to international nurses in the united kingdom and on top of that your family members who are back home will be thinking that oh now that you have landed in the uk you are already plucking money on the tree so you should be sending money back home that one is that you have to start telling them that there is a process 
there are things that need to be done and things like that also so there's just a lot there's a lot of factors that can affect people mentally when they first get into the uk and let me just take this moment to quickly say to people who are back home i don't know in nigeria in asia in you know wherever wherever when you have somebody leave home to go to another country to look for greener pastures temper your requests with mercy have mercy upon them they are just trying to find their feet just in fact you will find out that most of the times it's people that are at home that will be sending them money you know to augment the little salary that they are collecting when they get to the uk so be easy on people when they travel out of the country for greener pastures especially nurses and people in healthcare. please be considerate so right now i'm going to be reading from the nmc dot org dot uk this is their blog regarding the oski and oski receipts it says that if you are receiving the oski you can take the oski a maximum of three times as part of your application but you need to wait at least 10 days between each sitting if you do not pass your oski on your third attempt your application will close and you need to start a new application if you want to register with us you must wait at least six months before you sit the OSCE again and retake the 10 stations. So do you see why the third attempt was a big deal for this person or for anybody who had failed their first attempt or their second attempt? Because if you fail your third attempt at OSCE, then you've got to wait six months before you sit it again. You have to start registering all over again with the NMC. And I'm sure most employers will not agree to that. They will either lay you off and send you away and say, oh, they are no longer sponsoring you because you have not given them what they brought you in for. And then you are stranded, you are stalked. You are like, where to go from here? So this is a major reason why international nurses are always striving to make sure that they get their OSCE done as soon as they get into the UK. And this is why it's important when you are trying to get into the UK, you know, work with an organization to make sure that you do your own research, ask question not only from the organization of course because they will tell you what they think you want to hear but you can just go on linkedin and look for somebody who is working there send them a message ask them questions about the organization about the care home let them tell you their honest opinion about what it's like working there what the management is like you know and things like that and there are also review website that tells you a lot of things about a particular employer on google so if you go online and you search of course you get you know some of the answers that you need to determine whether or not you should go with a particular employer or another employer there's actually another video which i am going to be dropping very soon which is about how to know when you have different organizations how do you know which one to go for so stay tuned for that subscribe if you have not and turn on your bell notification so per adventure if you are somebody or you know somebody who is going through this kind of scenario at this particular moment or if you are planning to come into the uk as a registered nurse or if you are new to the uk as a registered nurse and you are planning for your oski whether it's your first attempt your second attempt or your third attempt this is what i will say to you and if you are watching me you've passed your oski you've been in the uk for a while whether or not you are a registered nurse please leave your comment in the comment section uh, i'll appreciate that so number one like i always say community 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 i cannot emphasize it enough the power of community please when you get into the uk don't isolate yourself one of the things that you need to do is to find your community in the uk if you are a christian this is not the time to say oh i'm, I'm not going to church find a church to go to find a place of worship because believe you me in that place of worship you will find at least one nurse or somebody who knows somebody who knows a nurse that they can connect you with to guide you to help you to encourage you whatever don't isolate yourself please 
find a community and also you can find a community online find a community on facebook on whatsapp on telegram in these groups usually they will talk about you know what life is in the uk how are people coping how are things being done you know sometimes even you can find a certain number of people who are also international nurses in your community in that group and you can definitely meet up you know for practice regarding your oski so community is key it is very very important another thing that i will say is that you should not just rely on the three days training that your organization is going to send you to usually most nursing homes maybe they send you to london for a three-day oski training and then day one and day two they cover all the 10 stations or more and then on day three basically you do your mock and that's the end of the training don't just rely on that please when you get back usually you won't be the only one they send because when these um, organizations bring in international nurses they are always in their fives and tens and even more so when you get back practice 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 with your other colleagues practice 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 even on your own by yourself practice 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 with the people you've got connection with in the community that you have joined and if you feel like you are not ready i think you can cancel and move your oski exam up to two weeks before the oski date so if you feel like oh i'm not ready yet then speak with somebody in your organization and see if they can move it to a later date for you so that when you feel more prepared more confident then you can go for it however don't sleep on that don't take you know the whole time trying to get prepared for it just make sure that you prepare as much as you can and then go ahead and give it your best so i've talked about preparing well and being confident so prepare well like it's just as simple as that when you get to the oski exam center be confident be confident be confident be confident be confident i know you can do this be confident i mean you pass nursing school exams in your own country how much more or how much less the uk so be confident you will do it and you will make it so be confident about the preparation that you have had and go for it this leads me to my next point which is you know success is not always guaranteed in the life of human beings we human beings there's a quote that says sometimes i win sometimes i learn so if you fail your oski don't see it as a failure or if you see it as a failure see it as a failure that is going to launch you into your success so don't just sit down on it and say oh i have failed and that is it you need to get yourself together get your, if you need to cry 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 <laughs> let out the emotions cry as much as you can but after you finish crying get back to preparation prepare 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 and go for it again when you are ready and be confident and of course we can't overemphasize the power of prayer and your own belief your belief system make sure that you harness that power the power of your trust in your God the power of prayers make sure that you commit everything to God and of course I believe that it will answer your prayers so prayer 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 prayers is very important make sure that even as you are preparing even as you are studying even as you are going for your oski make sure that you are in a constant mood of prayer don't just commit commit and believe believe that yes i'm going for it and i'm passing this i'm going for it and i'm coming back with my nmc pin you get it so go for it and let me say that in the case where you find yourself in a situation where you feel like you are not getting enough preparation for your oski exam please speak with the management of the organization and if they are not forthcoming if they are not doing anything tangible about it as soon as you get into the uk or if you're in the uk already please join a union please it is very very important 
join a nursing union like RCN. There are other nursing unions that you can join also. Just make your research and join whichever one you want to join. But the main thing is that you join a union so that you'll be able to receive legal advice and just some sort of support from the nursing body whenever you need it so that is very important thank you so much guys for watching please don't forget to like this video so that youtube can push this video to more people and more people can watch this and be reassured and know that they are not alone and know that help is available subscribe if you have not and turn on the bell notification definitely let me know your thoughts in the comment section and if you've got questions feel free to drop them and i will see you in this other video showing on your screen. Be safe.